So we're here at Seatec, and hi. Hello, uh, my name is Kiyoshi from Social Next. Uh, welcome to our booth. And, uh, and who are you? Uh, my name is Kota Soijima from Social Next. And we are show, showing our 8K demonstration. So this is 8K live streaming right now? Yes. Where is it streaming from? Uh, from our head, headquarters in Shin Yokohama City. So this is like a two, three hundred kilometers away, right? Yes. And it's live streaming 8K uh, using your, this is your encoder? Yes. So what's the bit rate? Uh, 70 megabps. So with only 70 megabit, megabit yes. you have 8K60. Yes. Is this showing the configuration or what yes. is this? Uh, uh, this is a setup of uh, this encoder. Constant bit rate? Yeah. Uh, 10 bit, 420, yeah. H265, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, is this the new standard for streaming 8K? Yeah. The best quality possible? Yeah, I, I think so. So, how do you keep the high quality at such a low bit rate? Uh, because we are using our own uh, encoder chip inside this streaming encoder box. And it's in real time doing very high compression yes. and all the way down to uh, extreme detail. Yeah. You can see a lot of detail in, in this 8K image. Right now you're using four 4K displays. And um, what is this? Uh, this is a 8K player, decoder set. Decoder set. So this, why is it so big? Uh, <laughs> is it first generation? Uh, yes. I is one SOC? Uh, yes, for 8K, one SOC. And uh, is it an ARM CPU? Uh, or we cannot say. Uh, it's, a an secret, SOC? It, it's a secret. Secret. <laughs> so there's a, maybe an SOC coming out, and it's for the set-up box market, maybe put inside the TV directly. Uh, yes, yes. Is it shipping, or how soon? Uh, in near future. In the future. Yeah. Nice. And this is shipping or later? Uh, box is uh, shipping. Uh, this player also. We are shipping this. Shipping? Yeah. To who? Who is buying? To um, currently R and B or to consumer? Uh, now B two B. B two B. Yeah. And um, so if I want to do AK one hundred twenty, I need two bucks. Or do you have a solution for AK120 or not yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Mm. But you will have for next uh, Tokyo 2020, right? Tokyo 2020, in the future, yes. Because uh, it will be broadcast in AK120? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right. And then uh, this one can play 60, not 120, right? Only 60. Now. 60. And it says, uh, what is this 150 to 40? This is big rate. So he goes up to 150, down to 40. Yeah. Is it not like a new codec, even better than H.265, no? The H.266 or the um, no, AV1? No, no, do, you, do you work with this? These are supporting H.265. Is there a next gen, new uh, codec, uh, new or not codec, yet? New codec, yeah. Me Major codec now is uh, H.264, so uh, this support new codec. H.265. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. So uh, here at the booth, you're showing many other things. Uh -huh. um, you, Socionext is uh, one of the world leader in uh, signal processors, right? Right, yes. So you, take, you do the ISP. Mm -hmm. And for example, in the Leica, yeah. but in many other cameras. Right, right. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't disclose uh, the exact customer, but uh, many camera uses our uh, image signal processor. So that means you have the best expertise in this mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. best in the world. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are also market leader uh, in I sure, sure, ISP. Sure, yeah. So what is a special thing about doing an ISP? You need to take a lot of video data, process it through a mm -hmm. special chip. Mm -hmm. You just do it the best way. Right. And, and <laughs> And yeah, here we have a long experience, uh, you know, almost 20 years. So, yeah. The, the history of Socionext is, uh, is also a merger of different uh, IC companies, or? Right, right, yeah. We, uh, you know, the, those are IC business uh, previously with Fujitsu. And uh, in 2015, uh, Socionext uh, started, uh, you know, 
uh, from the uh, Fujitsu, uh, Fujitsu. Uh, and the Panasonic uh, semiconductor division. Joint venture. Right, right, yes. Fujitsu Panasonic. Uh -huh. World leading class. And here we have a, a GoPro uh, Hero 7. Uh, there's also the new one, but then you do the processing to do everything with the video, the quality, the and the stabilization solution. Everything is on the ISP. Yeah, that's done by the processor, right? And here's uh, what is this? Vario, uh, Finnish company. So this is mixed reality, and in this uh, demonstration. It's like you're driving and then animals show up, but maybe... Um, so, uh, there's ISP stuff going on with a dual camera, and your ISP is able to process the whole uh, mixed reality kind of application here. Uh, all right. Uh, let's jump in. So this is this is uh, for self self driving cars, video analytics, uh, all to do with the video management system. This is using the ARM SOC, the SE2A11. How's it going with this chip? Do you sell many for this market or where? Or do you do also cloud with this? Right, yeah, so that can be used for the various uh, uh, you know, uh, applications, including the edge processing, mainly for the edge processing. And uh, yeah, this is uh, showing those uh, security So for video monitoring, processing, all this stuff, checking this guy's coming in, yeah, so and then... The Recognition, and, right? And there's the IoT with HDMI. So um, something is going on here with, uh, with this. Is that your chip? Right, right. Which which chip is that? Wait, let's, let's jump in. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the chip use. Uh, you know. This is this chip allows the uh, equi uh, you know uh, equipping with HDMI uh, connector connected to each other and uh, you know enable to control over uh, communication stuff. between the equipment yeah. and all this and we also put it in there. And you also have a, a board going on here. All right. Cool. Uh, let's let's walk around the in, around your booth this way. Can we go in front there? Right. So um, here's um, what is this about? Uh, this is a uh, you know, radio wave uh, ranging sensor. Uh, it uses a radio wave, 24 gigahertz radio wave, and uh, detects the uh, uh, distance and angle of the moving object in a certain area. So it's like, uh, sorry, if I jump in here, it's, it's hard to see. It says. Uh, This is a 60 gigahertz radar, radar sensing solution. Right. Uh, low power SEMA 60 gigahertz radar sensor for 3D motion sensing. And the other one is 2D. And th this is the little chip you have right here. Right. This maximum size. And so this chip is doing radar. Right. Uh, so and another 24 gigahertz. That means this, uh, this thing is. Uh, sorry, I cannot hear you. So, yeah. yeah, the 24 gigahertz. Oh, if, if you, yeah. So, something there, there. And if I go in here.
is able to track the guy in real time just using what radar yeah. solution so sending radio wave and uh detects the reflection and uh we we also have the, those uh, uh signal processing circuit uh integrated in the sensor chip so uh, you can do detect uh, uh you can detect the distance and uh movement of the moving object in a certain area you know with this uh, small package all right. Yeah. And then you have a, one more thing over here, at least one. So, uh, what is this about? So, here's a. Uh, and it's good. It's good. Okay. It's good. Uh, okay, what? Video streaming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's it's like similar to what you were showing in AK, but this is the 4K solution. Right. Right. Basically, yes. Yeah, so this is an encoder for the real-time encoder for the 4K and uh, we have the decoder box here yeah, for the real-time 4K, yeah, HEVC 4K 60UB, right. This is a, a mass deployment already and uh, what are you doing here in the Ubuntu? Just setting it up, you can choose the kind yeah, of settings? So, yeah, so this has uh, the user interface uh, for the easy setting up. And uh, so uh, this is the original image, and uh, this is the streaming image. You know. What's the bit rate? Um, it should be very compact, sure. right? Uh, bit rate, uh, no, 64. 64 megabit. 64 megabit. All right. So very high quality within the yes. sub 70 megabit. But you can also do 8K on 70 megabit. It's nearly the same yeah, bit rate. 8K. Nearly the same bit rate. Uh -huh. 64 and ah, otherwise okay. 70. So, yeah, okay. This, but you can uh, also go all the way down to. Ah, okay, okay. So this is a uh, low latency mode. So yeah. that's it's a uh, uh, balancing act between quality and latency. And if you want, you can also put it very low, the bit rate, and have uh -huh. more latency, right? Yeah. It's possible to go very low. Also, how low is minimum? You can put anything you want. So same latency level. You c can you do 10, 10 megabit? Um, no, better not. Probably uh, that uh, picture was uh, corrupt. Corrupt? Yeah. We can try. <laughs> it was it was a bad idea. <laughs> so now we're trying out the 10 megabit per second. 4K 60, right? 4K 60, right. All right. I see some latency here. It stopped. Yeah. So maybe you'd rather put more. Yeah, sorry, I broke it, broke your demo. And, oh, it's coming back. Possibly. You're doing some initializing. All right. Nice. Ah. So it does do okay. it. Now it's okay. down to 10 megabit. It's just some a little bit latency, right? Yeah. But I think and it looks 10 good. Megabit. I think it looks like Netflix, nearly. I think oh. Netflix is using 16, 17 megabit, mm -hmm. right? So this is maybe half of a Netflix, but you still have a lot of detail. All right. Yeah. Also now we go to the 10 bit. How does professional? How's your encoder? compared to using a computer with a very big CPU and encoding not in real time. Is this the best real time encoder in the market? Yeah, right. The most advanced? Yeah. So because uh, we are originally a USA vendor, so that we have a, a very good video codec chipset. So that is inside. Are you working on next generation codecs also? H.266? Yes. AV1? Uh, yeah, so now we are working uh, AV1 more than H266. Is AV1 the best? Is it open uh, source? No, it's a uh, different market. AV1 is for IP streaming or something, and H266 for more broadcasting or All something. Right. So you will support both. How is the difference in quality between H265 and AV1? Yeah, 
everyone is uh, better than H265. But How much better? 50%? Very different because... Uh, 20%? So it depends on operation, resources, and contents, and so... So is it point is uh, how uh, is it a much bigger challenge to encode? Mm -hmm. It's much harder to encode AV1 compared to H65. Yeah. Already H265 is a big jump from H264 for the encoder, right? Okay. Uh, in my view, uh, I don't need to compare uh, AV1 with H265 because it's different markets and different application. So that. So AV1 is good for streaming on the web. Yeah. Exactly. Netflix, yeah, YouTube, exactly. all this. And uh, but it's going to be harder to decode, right? You need a better comp better computer, mm, better phone to decode. Do you know maybe. how decoder chipset already launched? It already Broad, launched. Broadcom or something. Broadcom. Yeah. So, so already have AV1 decoder, hardware decoders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So. And you also will have the whole solution right there. So cool. as for AV1, uh, we have uh, AV1 uh, IP for nice. FPGA. Uh, do you work on the ISP that goes in the cameras too, or you work on more on the broadcasting side? Uh, myself, uh, yeah. I don't uh, work for ISP. ISP. So yeah, it's a different thing. Different uh, team. Yeah. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is not. This is not an ISP. Not ISP, yes. What yes. is this? This is a uh, codec. Uh, this itself is an encoder. Encoder, not ISP. Not ISP. Okay, so... So streaming right. appliance. Encoder chip. All right, cool. And what's the architecture of an encoder chip? Does it have... Is it an SOC with ARM and everything, or is separate? Or that's a secret? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah? No secret. Uh, it's uh, our HEBC. LSI uh, product name is the M50, M50. The M50? It's a, uh, just a LSI. LSI. That's the IP that goes on the SOC, or you build the SOC. Or yes. maybe you, yes, yes. you can put it on other SOC. Yes. Yes. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank, thanks a lot. So, um, so thanks for this tour. Thank you. Uh, but this is just a, f a few things. Uh, Social Next is doing many other things, right? Right. Yeah, but uh, basically we are the, uh, we have the expertise on the you know a very advanced SOC design. So based on that uh, expertise, we are you know propose, uh, uh, proposing a various various solutions. So for the future, where everybody is going to get 8K, mm -hmm. uh, everybody wants to get better and better camera. Right. You have a. Uh, everybody loves to watch Netflix and mm -hmm. all this. Mm -hmm. You will have a bigger, bigger market. It's just uh, growing all this stuff. That's and, what and the we IoT. Are, mm -hmm. Right, right. That's what we are expecting for the IoT and the advanced communication. And yeah. just being in the leading, mm -hmm. the leader, mm -hmm. world leader. Right. And partnerships with many chip makers. You put your IP inside their. Or you you make the chips also? Is it both? Uh, so we basically, uh, you know, uh, design our own chip. But uh, we also have a, a lot of IP. So the, uh, you know, we are licensing uh, the business like uh, I say, licensing IP to other chip makers is also, uh, you know, what we are thinking. But uh, basically, uh, we design our own chip. Right. Nice. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some of the challenge, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so far, uh, I don't know if Sony is here, but right. Sony and uh, Nikon, Canon, right. and Panasonic, mm -hmm. nobody is able to do 4K 60 on a full frame sensor. Uh -huh. It's about doing new sensor, but also maybe about getting new ISPs right. in the cameras. And maybe you are working very hard with them mm -hmm. to get all this without getting too much heat, right? Right, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a reasonable power consumption, right. Yes. And designing on smaller and smaller nanometers mm -hmm. uh -huh. to get the best um, right. Right, right. best energy efficiency, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And maybe some magic a little bit. Some, <laughs> I'm sure some, uh, yeah. some, some of the colleagues are in the office and like, oh my god, Eureka, I got 8K for like <laughs> tiny, tiny, maybe right, using right. AI also yeah. to compress the video even yeah. more. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, we are working very hard to, you know, yeah, develop the next generation products, right? Mm -hmm. 